Hey kids, welcome to my channel Easy Paintings by Ishita. I am so glad to see you all after two months. So kids, I was missing for two months as I was traveling from US back to India. You must be seeing that I have the lights on because it's evening out here and you are joining me in the daytime from the US. So today, as we are resuming the painting class, I have selected a very simple painting for y'all, which is very easy to do. And later on in coming weeks, we will be proceeding to harder paintings. Okay, so I will show you what we are going to do today in just a moment. But parents, if this is the first time you are joining my channel, do subscribe to my channel. I'm a teacher, a painting teacher from Manchester, Connecticut, but recently moved back to India. I did have classes at Manchester, which I'm resuming it from India. So I do have about 25 kids who join me in my painting classes. So as these are free tutorials on YouTube, I would really like you all to have your kids join me as well, because these are weekend classes. They can take these classes from the comfort of their home. And I do teach step by step tutorials. So parents guidance is very minimum and they can just go ahead and watch the tutorial and do it of themselves. So I hope you like today's tutorial. I will soon be starting and see you all every weekend then. So let's start our tutorial today, which is a beautiful cat painting. I teach for the age group of five to 10. So sometimes it's a very simple painting that I pick. Sometimes it's a little difficult one, which is for the age group of eight, nine and 10. But I do have more than 65 videos uploaded on my channel. You can definitely check that out because some or the other your kid would definitely like. Okay, I teach step-by-step -step tutorials for every video there are step-by-step -step instructions. So do check out all the playlists as well. So let's begin today's tutorial. Hey kids, welcome to the class. Today we will be doing a very simple cat drawing plus a beautiful painting of a scenery with a cat, okay? So to begin the class, do you remember that we always use shapes to make our drawing? So let's start it once again, okay? So let's practice the shapes. The first thing I would like you to do is make a circle, make a square, let's make a rectangle, let's make a triangle, let's make two lines and let's make two wriggly lines. So these are the shapes we will need today to make our cat, okay? Now, make a line here. Let's make two different sections. So, in the middle, making a line like that. So, two different cat we will be making as our practice work. So, Let's do the first one. For that, let's learn how a cat's face looks like. For that, let's make a circle. A cat has two eyes, like all living beings. So let's make two dots, big one as eyes. A cat's nose is a upside down triangle. So let's make a line upside down triangle and let's make a wing one two and let's make a little mouth here so this is how a cat looks but we are missing the ears so a cat has ears like that like this and like this and let's make the same thing inside so our catty is now done do you think it's done no, we forgot a very important thing for a cat, which is its whiskers. Let's make that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hooray! Now it's looking like a catty, right? Let's practice this here once again. 
make a circle make a circle make two dots make a line in the center and a triangle like this two wings and the mouth let's make two ears like this like this and inside and the main thing is the whiskers one two three so both the catty faces are now done now let's learn the cat body so first one we will make a sitting cat and the second one we will make a standing cat okay so for the sitting cat I would like you to make with a very gentle hand don't press it very hard because we will be shaping this so let's make a triangle so don't make the point but just leave a little space and a triangle like that okay now let's shape it so make a curve make a curve okay like this so I'm deleting the excess triangle corners so my catty body is like this now let's make two feet okay for that make two lines like that two lines like that okay now let's make a curve outside the body curve outside the body now in this center line let's delete that so that the feet looks like it's in the front of the body okay like this let's make the paws the paws are like one two one two so these are two feet and how many feet does a catty has it has four feet so where are the two other feet is it inside the body yes it is but a little is peeking through so let's make like that the two other feet of the catty and what remains the tail let's make the tail zoop zoop you can make any shape I'm making it like this so my catty is now ready were you able to do this I hope you were able to if you need any help please ask mama she would help you but I think you were able to make this so now let's make a standing catty you ready let's do it for that this is the head we already made now like other animals catty's body is rectangle in shape so with very gentle hands make a rectangle starting from the middle point like that like this we are using very gentle hands because we will be shaping this okay are you ready now to shape let's do this so I'm just making a slight curve a slight curve and a slight curve here and a slight curve there okay and I'm deleting the straight line so my catty's body is like this okay this is my catty's body now let me make feet so a catty is not very tall okay so its feet are small so let's make the kitty feet for that one two three two circles at the bottom so these are two feet let's do the same at the back one two three and two circles at the bottom 
Now let me make the pause. One, two, one, two. These are basically the kitty fingers. Okay. Now let's do one more thing. The neck part, let me just connect it like this. The face is here and the corners is here. And now let's make the tail. Uh, let me make it like that. Okay, upside. And for the kitty, let's make some stripes. One, two, three, four, five. A kitty can have stripes, may not have stripes. It can be brown, white, black, gray, any color you want. Okay, so this is our second catty. So both our catty drawings are now ready. I hope you were able to do it this way. And now I would like you to take a 10 minutes break. Come back with the fair copy of your drawing book and colors, watercolor or crayons or pencil color, whatever you have. And then we will do one more drawing and then coloring on that particular drawing book. All right. See you soon. Bye bye. All right, kids, welcome back to the class. So I hope you are ready with your final drawing book. I would like you to grab your eraser, your pencil and your scale, okay? So let's begin the painting for our scenery today. The first thing I would like you to do is, do you see how big is our page? I would like you to take your drawing copy like that not like this but like that on a longer side and once you have this now find out the middle point of your drawing book by measuring so this is the middle point now take your scale and at the very middle of the drawing sheet I would like you to do a very gentle line Okay, one line and just leave a little gap, make one more line. Okay, now this much part is remaining. So let's make the middle point again here. Let's make one more line. And below that, one more. Okay. So we have two lines here. Now, what I would like you to do is mark four plus four, eight points. So take a gap, one point, two point, leave a little more gap, three point, four point, little more gap, five point, six point, little more gap, seven point, eight point, okay? So we made one, two, little gap, three, four, little gap, five, six, little gap, six, seven, little gap. Now from here till here, we will make a long set of lines. So, and make the line from a little above from the point. One. Two, three, four. These are basically the pillars like this. Okay. Now let's make a cone on the top like that.
cone so four pointy cones so these are basically the fence fence means boundary of a house but this is a cat painting right what are we doing with the boundary let's make a cat now for that what I would like you to do is delete this one and this one now let's make the cat sit here for that if, a, if this is a sitting cat, then the body is a triangle shape, right? So let's do something. Make a straight line like that. Once again, make a straight line with very gentle hands. And let's make like that in a form of a triangle but not really triangle because this particular catty is looking this side so the face will look this side so one of the legs would be straight the other side of the body would be like that okay now let's make the face the face has to be a little tilted for that let's make like this It's not a very round shape, but it's like a little wide face. Let's make the ears. Okay, let's make the eyes. Let's make an inside eyes. Like this. Let's make the nose. The nose is a straight line and triangle two wings and a mouth and whiskers one two three one two three so this catty looks like it's looking this side exactly now let's make the catty's tail also the body not the body but the feet let's make a curve like that at the very bottom this is the pause of the catty now in the center let's do like that like a C and now this is the second feet and from here let's make a tail zoop Let's connect the tail from like this. I think the tail is too fat. Let me make it slim. So from the fence like this. In fact, this is too big also. Let me just erase and make a small tail. A catty doesn't have a very long tail like a monkey. It has a small tail. Like this. Yeah, this looks okay. Okay. So this is the tail of the catty. Now, let's make the paws. Like this like this all right so our cat is now done and for the design we will make the designs maybe a stripe a little later but what is the catty looking standing on the fence by the way this pillar let's complete it okay so what is the catty doing sitting at the fence maybe looking at someone so let's make somebody over here Mm, let's make a little round face let's make a straight line let's make a little body like that let's make two feet like that let's make the beak like that the eyes the wings and 
at the bottom to tail. So the catty is looking at the birdie who's sitting on the fence. Alright, so our drawing is almost done. Let's make some more things. If this is a fence, let's make few flowers. Okay, so make a circle here. Do you remember how I had taught you making flowers? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll make eight sticks and we would only connect those. So this was our first flower, okay? Let's make the stem. Let's make one more flower. So it can be anywhere. So again a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I made nine sticks and I am only connecting those sticks. This is the second flower. Let's make the stem. Alright, so both the flowers are done and I think it's good to go. Let's start coloring. But one more thing, kids. Do you see the lines are showing from the flower? The flower is supposed to be in the front. So we have to delete the lines from the petals, those fence lines. So just delete those lines. So that the flower is seen completely here also see do you see these lines of the fence at the back let's delete it all right so both the flowers are now done i think we can go ahead and start to color this all right, so let's quickly grab our coloring tray. With that, let's grab our brushes. I will be using these brushes today and a tray full of water because this is watercolor we will be needing lots of water but then kids you can grab your crayons or whichever color you are using and we can begin to color it all right so this is the fattest brush i have taken let's go ahead and wet the back so this is going to be our sky okay so I will not be putting any color on top of the birdie but at the back I'm just leaving space beside the birdie so that the birdie doesn't have any color and just wet the entire background. This is supposed to be our sky so don't go over your cat but take water beside your cat all right so let's quickly use our color so i'm taking blue let's make the sky
all right so my paper is almost drying so i have just applied some water and i am applying the blue and our sky is almost done okay now this is the sky let's do half of the fence blue also so don't go over the fence but just the boundary i hope this is not very difficult for you kids so behind the fence a little sky is peeking up all right now at the lower part let's do some grass for that let's wet the space don't go over the boundaries just the square blocks just the square blocks and on the top over here and over here and let, let's start coloring it green I'm taking this green and coloring it green right just like this so kids I picked up this scenery because this was very cute so I really liked it I thought that along with Catty we will also learn to make a birdie maybe next class I'll do a bird scenery for you because now you know the shapes and all right so I will try to do a bird painting for the next class and if you all have any topic in mind that you would like auntie to teach you do let mamas know so that they can tell me and I can make those or I can cover up those particular topics for you okay all right so our grass is done and all we need to now color is the catty and the birdie along with the fence so now also the flowers yeah how can we forget so for the bird which color shall we do I think let's do a yellow birdie so I've taken a little of yellow and just cover it up all right for the beak I will use black but not right now because it's very wet right now and for the catty what color would you like maybe uh, let's do this one you can do any color you want so I'm doing this color so color the paws be very careful that it should not go over the fence all right let's cover the face don't go over the eyes just the face don't go over the nose too yes just like that and cover the ears all right so our catty is colored 
as it is still wet let me do some stripes on the catty uh, maybe an orange stripe okay it's very wet feet this is the neck this is the tail you can just make these stripes or you can leave it as it is okay so our catty is done let's just make some stripes on the face also on the ears also all right all right so my cat is almost done and now let's color the flowers and the fence let's color the fence first what color would you like to do I think brown yeah let's do brown Okay. All right. So what I've done is I have directly wetted my brush, picked up the brown straight. I have not wet the fence before. I'm directly applying colors. Again, wet brush, a little of brown and straight like that all right so the last one the, okay this is not last there are more make sure you don't go over the flowers okay Just be very gentle, do it slowly and we covered the entire fence. All right, so the last thing that's remaining now is the flowers. So which color would you like to do? Let's do it pink. Okay, so I've picked up some colors. Let's do it pink. You can do any color which is your favorite, okay? Because flower comes in all the colors. So the flower is done. Let's do the other one. Okay. So the flower is done and kids do you remember how we did the leaf so I have cleaned my brush let me take a little of green let's make this stem and leaf Alright, so our scenery is now complete. So kids, do you remember what's the last thing we do? We always outline everything. Until we outline it with our black pen, it doesn't pop. 
right? So here for the eyes, the whiskers and everything, we will use our black color pen. But before that, the eyes, let's do blue eyes. Okay, let it dry. All right, let me now quickly grab my pen. Okay, so my black pen is here and I'm starting to outline each and everything. Uh, kids, if you don't have a black pen, you can use a sketch pen for it and you can outline it. There's one thing that's remaining, which is the blue part here. Also here. Also here. All right. So let me begin outlining each of the things first. So I'm starting with the flower. Let's do the second flower. Okay, both the flowers are done. Now let's do the fence. Uh, let's do something. Let's use the scale. Don't go over the flower, okay? Be very careful. I'm ending it here. I'm continuing. The same thing. I'm ending it here. And continuing. Okay, this has got some colors. Okay, now. Let's do the second one. Okay, third one. And the fourth one. Fourth one. The little catty is sitting on it. So we will not go over her the rest okay so the fences are almost done but the horizontal lines are still there let's complete that part and let me just move aside all the colors okay so for the fences I'm leaving space where there are the sticks Here too and here don't go over the flowers okay be very careful All right, now let's cover this, cover this, cover this. All right, now the last thing, let's outline the birdie. Hey, baby birdie. Let's make it black. Let's make her tail and her feet so the birdie is here let's make our cat tea this is the face this is the eyes nose mouth
big whiskers body this is the toes this is the other toes the body the tail and it's done hooray I loved how this came out let me do one more thing at the very end let me make some bushes at the bottom it will look more colorful I've taken my brush let's wet it let's take some green and remember from bottom till up bottom till up bottom till up so bottom till up wet the brush again okay wet the brush again wet the brush again and here I've taken a thin brush okay it's okay take a thin brush and this is one color let me mix a dark green also All right, the bushes are done and I am loving it. Um, should I make two birdies with pen? Two birdies. Cool. Let me write my name. So kids, you can write your name at the very bottom and make this painting yours. So let me just remove everything. I love this part when I remove these tapes it looks so neat and clean don't you think kids I would like you to like this video if you have watched it and liked it and make it yourself and send it through your mama by Thursday so that I can put it on to our next video and if you have any video request just let me know and I will try to make a painting on that topic also. Alright, here is our cute little catty painting ready for you all. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial after two months and we hope to continue this every Sunday at 11 in the morning from now on. See you soon. Bye-bye.